The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 37 through 39. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 27th, 1973, in London, England. Translation O Janardana, although these men, overtaken by greed, see no fault in killing one's family or quarreling with friends, why should we, with knowledge of the sin, engage in these acts? Kādhār party, Dudadhan's party, they were not considering all these pious or impious, sinful or vicious activities. Because Loba Upahata Chetasa. They have lost their sense on account of greediness for acquiring the empire. There are many places stated that Kamastasta Hitabhyana Jajanti Yandadiyota. Krishna says those who are worshippers of other demigods actually worshipful is disciplining Lord Krishna. Other they should be shown respect. But worship means for the supreme personality of God. He is worshipful. Saranyam. He is to be taken shelter of, he is to be worshipped. That is being taught. That is religion. Manmanabho or Bhakta Madhyari Maangamaskuru. All as thinking of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, worshipping Him, avoiding obeisance, that is Krishna consciousness movement. <coughs> the deity room, offering obeisances, worshipping, chanting, dancing, all as we engage uh, to offer respect and submission to the Supreme Personality. This is the duty of everyone, because all living entities are by constitution eternal servant. That is their healthy position. So long they remain servant of the Supreme, that is healthy. Uh, same example I have given many times, that my part and parcel of the body, the finger, so long it is fit to give service to the body, it is healthy. If it cannot give service, then it is disease. Similarly, all living entities who are not giving, rendering any service to the law, they are simply working for sense gratification, that is disease condition. And in the disease condition, nobody can be happy, that is not possible. If you have got some disease, you cannot be happy. So that is the position. They cannot understand that by serving Krishna we become healthy or in our normal position. This is called ignorance. Somebody is trying to forget him, somebody is trying to become equal with him. This business is going on. And nobody is submitting that my Lord, I forgot my service. From this day I became again your servant. Please give me protection. Sarva This is the teaching of all Shastra, all Buddha. But these people, the other party, they have become blind. They have become blind. Why? Lova apahata chetata. They have lost their sense. Kurakhaya Kritam Dhusam. There is a great fall uh, by destroying dynasty. Nowadays people are destroying from the home. Abortion, contraception, destroying. They do not know. Kulakhaya. Uh, Actually, Putra. Putra means, who means punnamo narakam. There is a hell which is called pun, 
नाम नरक एंड त्रो मीन्स ट्रायटी डिलीवर पुत्र मीन्स पुनर्नाम नरका ट्रायटी इति पुत्र ये संस्कृत वर्ड फॉर सन पुत्र मीन्स दैट इज सन इज एक्सपेक्टेड to deliver the four fathers from the hideous condition of life sometimes due to our sinful activities we become gross uh, there is very hideous condition so when uh sadha is offered uh, by the putra who is offered the putra is offered there is a duty then he gets again material body these are the subtle laws people do not know neither they are eager to know but these are the information we get from vedic literature putra has got a duty to save the four father <coughs> that was one has to it is his duty to keep a putra at least one son he must leave uh, but people are not uh, very much anxious uh, to have putra rather to kill putra they are so sinful kama lobha ta sutu simply sense ja that uh, why bhagya why one should marry putra thi kriyati bhagya bhagya means why one accept a why why for a putra for a son so why son is required uh, putra pindam prayajanam uh, offering oblation by the putra to deliver the four fathers that is uh, prayajanam that is absolutely necessary each and every one should leave a putra before his death he has got so many duties this is very simple but nobody now cares for that neither it is possible oh. therefore the only remedy is to surrender sarannam devur sibhuta tu ninam pitrina nayam rini na kim kar rajan sarvatmana ji saranam sarannam gato mukundam parihitu kattum the one excuse is that every one of us we are indebted to devas devata the demigods the demigods just like indra he supplies us water just like we have we are obliged to pay tax to the water department to the fire department to the education department so many department government or when we pay our income tax that is distributed to so many department so actually why we pay because we are indebted now the sun sign we are getting advantage of sun sign so we are indebted to the sun god similarly we are indebted to the moon god we are receiving so much advantage Uh, Buru, uh, Deva. So we are indebted to so many demigods. Similarly, we are indebted to the rishis. Just like Bas de, uh, he has given us this basic literature. We are taking advantage of it. So uh, we we must feel indebted. Uh, Deva rishi, rishi. First of all, we are indebted to the devotees. and then to the rishis then the bhuta ordinary uh, living entities that's why you are taking milk from the cow you are in that now you are killing they are committing simply sinful life and they want to be happy and peaceful this is we are in that i am obliged to you for your service so instead of feeling obligation if i you cut your throat how gentleman i am especially you may so we are indebted devarshi bhuta to ninam pitrina 
Sudrina, this Sudrina is full of karma. Four fathers. I have got this body. Eh? From my grandfather, my father has got this body. From my father, I have got this body. I was indebted. Because this body, human body, is a chance for understanding, for my position. I can get out of the clutches of this maya of transmigrating from one body to another. So this opportunity I have got by the grace of my forefathers. These are feelings of obligation. And there is duty. Therefore, Arjuna is considering so many things because he is devoted. Pulaksha Kritana Dosana Mitra Dohi Sapatha. These rascals, they have become uh, lost of their intelligence on account of greediness for acquiring the empire. But so far, I am concerned, uh, or do say, Pathamna Gyam Asmahi, plural number, by us. As means including Krishna. He is saying, not I, or by me. He is including Krishna. You are in this side. So, uh, because you are on my side, you are my charioteer, if I do not consider all these things, what people will say? That Arjuna is such a great devotee of Krishna, and Krishna is there, he is committing such sinful activity. Therefore he says, Kathana Gyam Asmadi. He is dragging Krishna also. That is right, yes. A saintly person, a devotee, should consider all these things before acting, whether I am doing it properly or improperly. This is all this. The other part is, Lova Upahata Chitasam, Apahata Chitasam. They have lost their sense. But we cannot. A devotee must be very responsible. He must act in such a way that nobody can blame him. Otherwise everyone says, what kind of devotee is? So this is the duty. They should be very cautious. Sannyasi, they should be very cautious. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Sannyasi alpa chidre bahu kori mane. A ordinary grihastha or grihastha only. He, he talks with all men. Uh, nobody will bless. He is grihastha. But if a sannyasi talks with all men, very intimately, uh, immediately, people will talk, no talk. Sannyasi alpa chidre bahu karima. That is the practice. He should be very cautious. So a devotee, a sannyasi, they have got very, very great responsibility. People will very easily criticize them. So Arjuna is considering all these points. Kathamana kyam asmavi papat asman nivartitam. They may indulge in these sinful activities. How we can indulge? What people will say? Kulakshayakritanadusam prapasad bhi janarjana, e janarjana. You are maintainer of the people. So if people become sinful, though it is very difficult to maintain them, these things have been conscious. Kulakshaya. So we cannot destroy family. But on one condition we can become free from all these obligations. What is that? Gato saranam parihutta karpam. Saranam. Mukunda charam. One who has dedicated his life simply to serve Mukunda, Krishna. Mukunda. Muk means mukti, liberation. And ananda. Krishna gives liberation. His name is Govinda, Mukunda. Hundreds and thousands of men, Krishna is God. So, <coughs> if one has taken fully surrendering unto the lotus feet of Mukunda, he has no more any of these. Either these pitri 
Devarshi, Deva, Devata, Demigod, Rishi, Bhuta, he is immune because he is transcendental. But so long one is not a devotee, one who is not fully surrendered to the lotus feet of Mukunda, he must have to follow all these regulative principles and duties. He cannot be released. Uh, everything account is kept. Prakriti ekriyamana nikunai karmani sarvasa. Everything is noted down. Karmana daimanatre, you know. According to his karma, he is going to get another body. These are the subtle laws. Therefore, kulakshana dosham. He cannot destroy your family. Uh, materially, you cannot destroy your family. Uh, so, Arjuna is speaking. Kulaksayam kritam dosam prapasyad bhijanam. We can see. These rascals, they have lost their intelligence. But when we see how we can destroy the family, uh, <coughs> the father explanation is given. Well, next. Translation. With the destruction of dynasty, the eternal family tradition is vanquished, and thus the rest of the family becomes involved in irreligious practice. So, so much responsibility is there, killing the family. Uh, and because they have no responsibility at the present moment, uh, everyone is religious. Uh, two things are there, religious and irreligious. Krishna also says, jada jada hi dharmasya jnani bhavati. Of Bhutthanam or Dharmasa. If we cannot keep on religious principles, then we have to do something, then we have to enhance our irreligious principles. So this family tradition, according to Vedic civilization, was very strictly observed so that uh, the family may be kept in order, in religious principle. Why? Now because the human life is meant for reviving his eternal position. Sanatam. This is what is used here. Kula dharma sanatam. The real purpose of life, especially human life, is meant for reviving our sanatana dharma, sanatana occupation, eternal occupation, uh, by observing the rules and regulation of varnasana dharma, four varnasana and four ashrama, that is called kula dharma, brahmana, kshatriya, vaisya, sudra, brahmachari, grihastha, vanaprastha, and sanna. Each one of them must strictly observe the rules and regulations of that particular ashram. Uh, why it should be observed so strictly? That because by observing the regulative principle of each stages of life, one will be able to please the Supreme Personality of God. Pannāsamacāruvata purusena parapuma Vishnu āradhyate nanna tattu sukāraṁ. If we observe strictly the rules and regulations of kula dharma, kula dharma means if you are a brāhmaṇa, you must observe the regulative principles, the qualitative principles of a brāhmaṇa. If you are in a kshatriya, then you must also observe the kshatriya principles. All these are described in the Bhagavad Gita who is Brahmana, who is Satriya, by symptoms. By symptoms we have to accept whether one is Brahmana, Satriya, or Vaisya, not by birth. Uh, that is the injunction of the Shastra. So this has to be observed. If we want actually deliverance from this material entanglement, so these rules and regulations of Kula Dharma we must observe. If we do not observe, 
then immediately you become irreligious. Dharmena ste kritam kristam adharma abhivavati iti uta. Uta, what did he say? It is said. He has learned from higher authorities. Uta. It is said means said by authorities. So, uh, if adharma irreligious life is propagated on account of uh, loss of kula dharma, uh, then everything is lost. Uh, Krishna. So why shall I kill? Uh, other things also will be destroyed later on. That the when the male members are killed, the female members become widow, and uh, they their character uh, becomes polluted. So many things Krishna will speak about this family life. So at the present moment there is no such family life, no consideration of religion, no consideration of irreligious life, everything just like animals. Kalo Sudra Sambhava, if not animals, they are all Sudras. Nobody Brahmana, nobody Kshatriya, nobody Vaishya. So it is a chaotic condition of the human society. Therefore, uh, it cannot be revived to the original position of systematic, institutional position. It is not possible. Everything is lost. Therefore, by the Chaitanya Mahapurusha grace, one thing. Harem nama, harem nama, harem nama, yiva kivalam, kalo unasti, unasti, yiva katirandata. Everything is lost. Now, simply by chanting Hare Nama, the holy name of Lord Krishna, you become again uh, situated in the original position. Everything is adjusted uh, because it is transcendental. So there is no other way. Uh, Chaitanya Mahapurvi is so merciful that from the Shastra he has selected this process of Sankirtan movement. Chita Darpana Mahajana Bhava Mahadavagni Nidva. The human life is meant for extinguishing the blazing fire of material existence. Uh, but we are not in regulative principle. We have lost everything. Our Sanatana, Kula, Dharma, everything. Under the circumstances, the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives us the greatest uh, facility, according to Shastra. Uh, that is the bone of this age. Kīrtanādeva Krishna samukta saṅga parambha. Simply by chanting the holy name of Krishna, everyone becomes uh, free from all contamination of this age. Mukta saṅga parambha And he becomes so purified that he becomes fit to go back to home, back to God. Uh, so um, this opportunity, uh, chanting of Hare Krishna mantra, we should not miss. Uh, uh, we should, we must. Uh, where is the difficulty? Hare Krishna uh, chanting, Kirtaniya sada hari, tinadupi sumi tena, tarodupi sahisnana. This is the only uh, savior for the human society of this age. Thank you. Thank you.